Kayla King and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. Today I'm sharing another writing vlog and I'm so excited that I'm finally finished with chapter 14. Hello, it's about 7.30 on Monday morning. I did shower already and I'm feeling really invigorated, so I figured I would use the next half hour before I have to log in for my day job to get a little bit of writing done. First, I'm gonna read through what I already have for chapter 14, just to get a feel for the flow, and then I'm gonna dive in and hopefully get a little writing done before I need to turn off this computer and turn on the work computer. Let's see how much progress we can make today. wrap on this morning writing session. I was actually able to add 213 words after I read through what I had for chapter 14 and I really love where I'm going with this. I know where it needs to end so now it's just filling in those few pieces from point A to point B. I'm hoping to do a little bit more writing on my lunch today but we'll see how that goes. If anything this was such a nice way to start my day. I feel so creatively energized and ready to tackle whatever my day job throws at me today. Well I've been seeing calls for submissions for the Kiss Your Darlings anthology all over Twitter. It just dawned on me that their submission window is going to be closing in three days. So I'm going to dive back into the April poems from 2020 and 2021 to see if I already have poems written that feel like Taylor Swift. I'm sure I do and I'm sure it'll just take a little bit of editing. For now, I'm going to start by flipping through Things We Left on the Mantle, or what we called the April Poems. This was actually a book that I compiled for my best friends for their birthdays, and it contains all 30 of my April poems from that year. Looks like I have two options that I could possibly use. And now I'm going to flip through all the things you could miss at the end of this, and this actually contains all of the poems from April 2021. Again, I compiled this as a birthday gift for my two best friends. This one has about five to six options that I could possibly use. Knowing that I can only submit two, it is making it a little bit more difficult because I love all these poems, but at least I have something to take back to the drawing board and to work on in edits to hopefully get done in the next three days before the submission window closes. Hello, so for today I did end up going on a crumble cookie run but it's a little bit later than when I normally pick up my cookies, so I figured I would do a taste test right here in my car. I'm verging on the point of hangry, and I have one more grocery store to go to, so hoping to get a little bit of sugar in me before I finish up the rest of my errands tonight. Let's go ahead and give them a taste. coconut white chip, the Oreo milkshake, and then the peanut butter with Snickers. I should have prefaced this by saying I do not like coconut. That one is actually from my mom, so I won't be trying it, but let's go ahead and try the peanut butter with Snickers. As you can see, this cookie is as big as my face, but let's give it a try. Very good cookie. I did not get any of the peanut butter frosting or Snickers in here. I'll probably have to cut a piece off when I get home, but the cookie itself was really great and it had a nice little crunchy edge to it. And alas, the Oreo milkshake. Let's give it a try. That one was delicious. The cookie base is really similar to their vanilla sugar cookie as far as texture goes, but the frosting is really great. All in all, a decent week from Crumble. Not as good as last week because that key lime pie cookie was out of this world, but delicious nonetheless. Hello, 
It's just after nine and I am hoping to get a little bit of work done tonight. I am planning on reading through some of my Taylor Swift inspired poems to meet this submission call that's going to be closing in three days. I currently have five poems that I think could fit but they are only taking two so I have to narrow it down and do a little bit more editing. And then after that I am hoping to jump into chapter 14. I have my sights set on finishing one of the scenes that's in this chapter that comes right before the end. I don't think I'm going to finish the whole chapter tonight but any additional words I can put on the page will definitely help in my progress tomorrow. Once that's done, I am planning on reading a little bit before bed. I'm currently making my way through Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen. It is a gorgeous novel, so lyrical, so magical, filled with action and really heartbreaking scenes. But I'm currently reading this with my best friend for a book club and we are doing it in 50 page increments and tomorrow is our next book club meeting. So that's gonna be kind of how I wind down from looking at my computer screen. I'm trying to be better about not being on my phone and computer right before I go to sleep as I do think it's contributed towards my insomnia lately. All in all, today was a great day, which it's not often I can say that about a Monday, but I made myself a promise this morning that I would do everything I could to really find the good in this day and I think I've done just that and when it comes down to it it's really the small moments of every day that keep us going. So much of this life can be dark and scary and stressful but even making sure that I did my full skincare routine as I got ready for bed really helped me feel so much better and I need to remember to do those small things every day to make sure that I am finding my best and brightest self. So let's see how much progress we can make tonight. but I did cut 70 words from chapter 14. I got all of my poems edited and I also went through and finished the last minute tweaks on a short story that I think I'm also going to submit for the Taylor Swift themed anthology. Now that I've gotten all my work done, I am going to dive into Skin of the Sea to hopefully finish that section for book club tomorrow. <music> It's just about 7.30 on Wednesday, and I am hoping to get a little bit of writing done before I have to log in for my day job. I know I'm short on time, I only have 30 minutes, but we have to make do with the time that we have, so let's see how much progress we can make today.
that's a wrap on this morning's writing session. I do have to get logged in for my day job, but I was able to add quite a few words this morning. I took chapter 14 from 1067 words to 1142 words, and I'm really happy with the progress I was able to make, and I'm excited to dive back in later tonight and hopefully finish up this scene between these two characters, and then after that I just have one more scene to go and chapter 14 will be finished. Hello, it is noon and I'm just getting ready to take my lunch. I am just going to be eating an apple while I get some work done. Um, later on I might eat at my desk while I'm working, but I did want to go through the edits that my best friend sent back from those Taylor Swift inspired poems that I was working on earlier this week. I am looking to send in my submission tonight for the Kiss Your Darlings anthology and I'm so excited. However, I do have five poems that I love so much and narrowing down my choices to just two for the submission has been so difficult. I'm hoping there might be some good feedback in my best friend's notes that'll really help me with this decision. If anything, I did have another friend look and she had one specific selection that she said felt very Taylor Swift. And then I had another of my writerly friends look over the poems earlier on Monday and he gave me some great feedback as well. So hopefully between those three friends and my edits today, I can come up with two great poems for this anthology. <music>
8.30 and I just got off the phone with my best friend. We did our book club chat tonight and he also gave me some more feedback after I finished edits on the poems earlier this afternoon. So I'm going to implement the one change he had and then these poems will be ready to go and I'm going to get them submitted tonight. Fingers crossed these get accepted by Kiss Your Darlings, the Taylor Swift themed anthology. <laughs> successfully submitted my two poems and my short story to the Kiss Your Darlings anthology. Whether I'm accepted or not, I will certainly be purchasing a copy of this anthology as all sales will go to the benefit of Montrose Grace Place. This focuses on establishing a safe environment for homeless youth of all sexualities and genders in Texas. They provide food, shelter, tech, clothes, hair care, and more on youth nights to help create a community of care, aid, and support for trans youth. Kiss Your Darlings has provided more information right on their site and I'll make sure I leave a link for that in the description box below. It's about 5 to 10 and I'm just winding down. I am going to read a little bit. Again, trying to form some better habits to stay off my computer and phone right before bed. I've really noticed a difference this week with cutting back on my screen time. My sleep has been so much better. I am going to be starting this new book, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It's been on my TBR for quite some time. My best friend sent it to me and suggested I read it in March and since we only have one more day left of the month, I figured tonight would be the perfect night to give it a try. I do have 100 pages left to finish for Skin of the Sea, but as I've mentioned before, I am reading this for book club with my best friend, and we're doing it in 50-page increments, so I'll likely be done with that within the next two weeks. I'm really enjoying that book. Before tonight, I'm really excited to dive into a new book. I could keep reading this book all night, but I do think I have to turn in for bed. The fact that I did not read the dust cover or anything about this book, and it is this exquisite already, I'm just so excited. I was planning on reading 12 pages, and I've already read 32. I'm ending on chapter four, but I'm so excited to get back into this. And all I'll say so far is if you haven't read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, definitely check it out. Good morning. It's just about 7.30 and I am hoping to get a little bit more writing done in chapter 14 before I have to log in for my day job today at 8. I've really enjoyed this schedule this week and even though the momentum I have might look small since I'm only working in 30 minute increments, I have been able to get some really solid writing done and I'm really close to being done with chapter 14. <music>
since I worked an extra 30 minutes yesterday, I'm actually gonna elongate this writing session. Usually I would be logging in for work at eight, but since I do have that extra 30 minutes, because I really feel in the groove with this chapter, I do wanna see if I can try to finish it today or at the very least finish the scene between these two characters. Since I feel like I'm making some really great progress, I am gonna try to finish the scene between my two characters. So that way I only have one left before chapter 14 is done. Let's see how much more progress we can make. so I do need to call it quits on this writing session, but I am so close to the end. I actually finished the scene between the two characters that I've been working on for quite a few days now and actually made it into the very last scene that I need to complete this chapter. It really feels like the finish line is just within reach and I think there's a good possibility that this chapter will be finished today. Just for some stats, I did start this chapter with 1,142 words and I'm finishing this writing session with 1,667 words. So I was able to add about 520 20, which is great progress for an hour first thing in the morning. I have absolutely loved starting my days this way. It makes me feel so creative and gives me the time and space to dive into the book and really live and breathe with these characters all the day through. So before I dive into chapter 14, I did just remember that tomorrow is April 1st, which means day one in the April poem challenge. So I'm actually going to get my April poem Trello board set up and then I'm going to utilize a site that is a random word generator because in my process for working on the April poems, I always use three words as inspiration. I'm also going to go to my writing prompt board on Pinterest and randomly select a photo to be used for tomorrow's poem.
Hello, it's just about 9.45 on Saturday morning and I'm sitting down to finish the last few pages of chapter 14. I didn't record any of my writing last night as I wasn't working on my computer. However, I did start the first day of what I like to call the April poems. Really, it's just the challenge to write one poem every day for the month of April to celebrate National Poetry Month. That first poem is about 250 words and I'm looking forward to writing another one today. But first and foremost, I really wanted to tackle the end of this chapter. Since I didn't work on chapter 14, at all yesterday, I am going to read all the way back through from the beginning to where I left off. That way, I'm in the headspace of this chapter before I finish these last few scenes. Let's see how much progress we can make today. you'll 100% understand those times where you need to figure out how something looks or how something is going to be described and all of a sudden you need to pop out of the chapter and figure it out. I am in constant awe of those writers who can plow ahead and not get distracted. I have never been one of those writers so I'm going to pop over to Canva and quickly get a design down so that when I go to put in the description in this chapter I have a sense of what I'm going to be writing about. Hopefully this won't take too much time but I have always been a visual learner and I do oftentimes have to come up with my own designs or floor plans to fully get the description right on the page. about 45 minutes designing this camera and walking through every step of how you would use it and every piece of technology that would go into it. So now that that's done, I can dive back into the manuscript. Again, a bit of a detour, but sometimes you need to take those in the writing process to feel fully secure in what you're describing. Hello. 
Hello, it's just about 8.30 on Sunday morning and I'm just sitting down to finish chapter 14. I had really high hopes yesterday that I was going to finish this chapter, but after I created some visuals for some technology that I'd written into that chapter and added it to my book bible website, I did take the time to actually make some updates to the website. that took time away from finishing the chapter, ultimately it's going to help me as I move forward with the line edits in my WIP. For anybody interested in how I created my book bible website, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to do an entire video dedicated to this space. For today, let's see how much progress we can make. chapter 14 and I'm so excited to have this done. It did get a little bit more emotional than I expected at the end and it seemed like I was upset. My little boy was upset so I'm gonna hold him for a little bit but when I come back I am gonna read all the way through this chapter. Currently it's sitting at 2,749 words and when I started this writing session I had 2,159 so I wrote about 600 new words this morning. All of them heartbreaking and lovely. As usual I'm gonna go back and read all the way through this out loud just to see if there's any additional places that I can cut. But we're in the home stretch, so let's see how much progress we can make.
Cameron pulled her face away from the shoulder of her father's jacket. Shoulder of... I think I can just say his... His jacket. She swiped at remaining tears with her knuckle. You still look lovely. He kissed the top of her head. But you're not Graham. You're just you, and I wouldn't change that. He smiled. Cammy, you're exactly the person you're supposed to be. Don't forget. Don't look back to yesterday. She laughed through the question. Though the sound was small, close to a whisper, it allowed her to exhale the hurt. People moved around them as the train doors opened. Her father followed her to the platform. To answer your question about Nix, most stories are about love. At their core, at least. Sometimes you have to look a little harder to find it, but it's there. I promise. He held out his pinky. Cameron mimicked the gesture, wrapping her pinky around his. Promise. All right, so after reading all the way back through this chapter twice, I was able to cut 44 words. So the ending word count is 2,705 words. I know the point of these line edits is to get this manuscript down to the thinnest it will ever be, but sometimes you have to add in those chapters that really bridge between two different sections, and this was one of those chapters. I'm absolutely in love with this new material. The way that the chapter ended was a little bit different than I expected, so I am going to have to tinker a little bit with some of the relationships, namely because I was working on a scene between my main character and her father, and I really thought their conversation was going to go in a different direction. That is one of the most magical things about the writing process. Oftentimes, even when I have something planned, I surprise myself. But that's one of the most amazing parts of being an author, is getting to create people on the page and seeing what happens next. Because this conversation did change, I'm now going to have to look at the next two chapters to see if I have to shift the tone at all, but the way that I've been working on these line edits is I look at the chapter in my manuscript binder at the hard copy to see the notes I've made and see if there's any quick places where I can make cuts and make notes so that way when it comes to the final line edit process I have everything I need. So this might be something that I need to look at a little bit more carefully, like I said, at least for the next two chapters. All in all, this was a beast of a chapter to draft from scratch, but I'm so in love with where my characters have gone and where they're going to go next. I can't believe we're already into the month of April, but I'm so proud of all the progress I've been able to make so far. It feels great to finally have chapter 14 completed and to know that I can move on to the last four chapters in section two of my WIP. While progress this month might look a little bit different since I will be trying to write one poem every day for the month of April in celebration of National Poetry Month, but at the end of the day, words are words, and I know oftentimes that having that chance to show my creativity in a different way helps when it comes to putting more words on the page for my work in progress. And at the end of the day, I can't wait to see what this next month holds for me and my novel. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, no matter where the day takes you, dream big.